in a medical malpractice trial in New York. Do I have a time limit about how long I can make my opening argument? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me for a walk on the beach as I share with you exactly the answer. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. Right now I'm in ankle depth water trying to navigate without getting stepping on something dangerous in the water. But I want to share with you this great information. All right, so the answer is no, there are no specific time limits about how long it's going to take me or how long I have in which to go ahead and make opening arguments in a medical malpractice trial. But you should know something important. The fact is, the judge is going to tell me generally, all right, counselor, you can't have three hours to make an opening argument. You can have half an hour. You can have 15 minutes. He may give us some generalized um, time frame about how long we actually have. Because before the trial actually starts, the attorneys are required to meet with the judge so that he can learn a little bit about what this case involves. Who are the parties involved? What are the key allegations? And is there anything that he needs to know or any legal rulings that he needs to address before we actually start the trial? In that instance, the judge is going to ask us, Counsel, how long do you think your openings will be? Now, if I tell the judge, uh, Your Honor, that's going to take three hours. You know what he's going to say? No, it won't. He said, Judge, I have to take three hours to go. It, it, he'll turn around and say, Counselor, if it takes you three hours to make opening arguments, you've got a problem. You've got a really big problem. Your argument should take no more than 15 minutes, half an hour. Why is that? It's because opening arguments are not the opportunity for us to tell the jury everything that happened. That's not the purpose of an opening argument. Rather, it's an opportunity to let the jury know what they can expect will happen and what testimony they can expect to hear during the course of the trial. We want to give the jury something interesting to look forward to, to know exactly what it is that they can listen to or expect to hear from our particular case. What claims are we making? Yes, we are entitled to give them specifics about what we believe the doctor did wrong and what injuries the patient suffered as a result of that. And we can tell them who the experts are. We can tell them what we expect the evidence to show. And you'll find that the best trial attorneys do exactly that during opening argument. But how long will it take? There's no specific time limit. Every attorney is different. And here's another strategy. You'll find that if the plaintiff's attorney, the attorney who represents the injured patient, takes an excessively long time to make opening arguments, one strategy the defense will use is he'll get up and say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only going to be a few moments, unlike Mr. Oginski, who took forever to get to his story, to get to the point. And then he'll make a very brief, succinct opening argument that clearly contrasts with what it was that we did. And that's a great way to highlight the fact that this guy is attentive to the jury and is not going to waste their time. So just something small like that about how long he's going to take. Meanwhile, he may have prepared a half an hour opening argument but realizing he can showcase to the jury the fact that he cares more about them by saying, hey, listen, I'm only going to be a few moments and then I'm going to sit down. Now he will gain credibility points by doing that. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you as I walk along the beach to give you some great information about how these types of cases work in New York. You know, I recognize that you're likely watching this video because you wanted to see the scenery behind me. No, no, no. I realize you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter has happened in New York, but you have not yet started a lawsuit and still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is come join me in the water. It's beautiful. <laughs> really, I invite you to pick up the phone and call me. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have an awesome day.